morning and an incident that occurred around 1.35 a.m. Eastern time. Now that sunlight is coming up and Elizabeth Schulze is there on the scene for us. And Elizabeth, what can you tell us about what's happening from your vantage point? We see it there behind you. Hey, good morning, Rebecca. And you heard the mayor there say this is an active search and rescue effort. And you could really get a scale, a sense of the scale of this mission from our vantage at is what's left standing of the key bridge. You can see there the cargo ship completely surrounded by the bridge that's collapsed. The bridge cut off completely as you head east out of Baltimore. You can also see the intense presence of the U.S. Coast Guard and state police. The weather here has been a challenge. We've, it was dark up until a couple of minutes ago. Temperatures are frigid and we heard police say that this is a massive area that they are searching. The tide is coming in. That will pose an additional challenge. They're searching below the water on the surface. Sonar activity they say has detected the presence of some vehicles underwater and I will say guys I did just speak with a neighbor here who said that she heard Heard the bridge collapse around 1.30 a.m. She told me it sounded like a plane was landing in her backyard. Lindsay. And we do know, Elizabeth, that that search and rescue is paramount at this hour. Our thanks to you.